Welcome back everyone. Today, I'll be showing you on how to use masking in Premiere Pro. Hello everyone, my name is Sunny Landa and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today, I'll be showing you on how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. Just like the video in the intro, it is very easy to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. But before we jump to Premiere Pro, let me give you a few tips in order for you to successfully finish this project smoothly. First, you need to put your camera on a tripod and that camera must not move all throughout this entire process. Two, you need to have two types of scenes of video. The first, well, well, in my case, I have one full video of two different scenes and then I just cut them into two. My first scene was me holding my phone and putting my phone down on the, on the table. It is important for you to put your phone down as far as you can so that it will be very easy in Premiere Pro of masking it out. The second scene that I have is me coming in the bedroom and stealing the phone that I just put on the desk. Again, it is important for you to have an enough distance between the first me and the second me so that masking in Premiere Pro will be very easy. Okay, as you can see here, I already grabbed the two videos that I created, video number one and video number two in my timeline. The video number one is where I'm holding my phone and putting it down on my de on, on the desk. The video number two is where I just came in with my ice cream and grabbing my phone. Now, the next step that we're going to do is we are going to move the first video or video number one on, this, on the second layer. Um, this is the first layer, layer two and layer three. You can add as much layer as you like in video and the audio as well. The next step is we are going to move the video of video number two just right below video number one. We are not going to move the, vid the audio of video number two because we really do not need it for this particular project. That's why you see here the red box. It's because you did not move the audio together with the video. But right, like I said, we do not need this, the audio for video number two on this particular project. That's why I am just deleting it. The next step is, um, we need to make these two layers of video work in harmony, wherein um, the first version of me and the second version of me must not, touch each, must not touch each other because once it happens, the whole concept of this masking will be a mess. In order to do that, just click on the video on second layer, on, which is a video number one, and then go to effect controls go to opacity and just move the opacity down to 50% or just type in, just double click and type in 50. Now that you can see video number one and video number two on the screen, it will now be very easy for you to get the right timing to grab the phone just right after video number one, put the phone down on the desk. To do that, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, now what that we just we just did it. The next step is you need to move your audio to this line, to this lay, to this timeline. And in order to do that, just put just point your mouse pointer right here until this um, line facing to the right comes out, and just drag, click, drag, and move it until it reaches this line. The next step is you need to cut this because we do, we do not need this part and let's just cut it. Just grab the um, razor tool or just press C and click right here to cut and click your selection tool or just press V, select it and just delete. So let's see this. So now everything is in sync. Everything is in, right, in the right timing. Now we need to bring back the opacity of layer of video number one back to 100. To do that, just go to effect controls and in the keyframe, the keyframe right here, just delete it. 
To do that, just select it and press delete. Now your opacity is back to 100. The next step is we're going to split this video in layer number two. We will split that into two. We will split it just where the video in video layer number one is at. So we will split it right here. Just, um, you can click on the razor tool or press C and um, cut it right here. And then click on the selection tool or press V and select this part of the video. Why am I doing this? We are doing this, we are splitting this video into two because once we apply an effect, an effect on this one, like masking, it will not, this part of the video, where from here to here, it will not be affected. Now, the next step, we are going to do, to do the masking. Make sure that your screen size in here is in 150% because you, we need to see the frame, um, the, the edge of the frame right here in order to, to, to move the mask outside the screen. Now, next step, make sure this is selected and go to um, effect controls, click on the rectangular tool or the four point polygon mask. Once you click it, you will see the, the masking. Um, click invert, inverted. So because we need to see this, this is, in the, this is in the first layer. So the second layer is hidden, it's still here. Well, it's actually here, but it's not yet happening. So go to the first frame and then move this right here all the way down where we're supposed to see the phone. Um, if you can see, you're still holding the phone, but you're not supposed to, see, there's, the phone is not, the phone is still not supposed to be there. So what we're going to do with this, we need to move this right here up, right th like this, where in, we will not see the phone yet. Okay, this is the reason why we need a 150% screen size because we need to um, uh, position the mask outside the screen. Now, next is we are going to click on mask, mask path, mask feather, mask opacity, and mask expansion. And then if you want to see the blue uh, rectangle again, just click on here, mask one, and it's back. Now change the mask feather in like into like, let's say 25. So you would see there will be no hard line on this part of the video. Because if it's, if it's like 10% or less than that, you will see a very hard line right here and, you will in, and, and the difference between video one and video two will be, will be very obvious. Next, um, we are still here on, vid on this part of the video. Um, click on track selected mask for forward one item. Once you click that, you will see all the keyframes now are aligned. Um, go one, um, one, one frame at a time. Once you reach, I mean, once we reach the frame wherein the first me will be putting the phone down on the desk, that's the time we are going. We will be moving this uh, the mask. Now we are close to putting the phone down. See right here, the phone just, I mean the, the, the door just opened. So right here, the door just opened and I'm about to put my phone down. Just keep on pressing the arrow key and once the phone hits the blue line, make sure it will not touch the blue line. So you'll have to move it like this. So see that, what happened? So the phone just faded, so that's not, that's not supposed to be like that. So you need to move this up and move this down right here because of the door that needs to be shown. Okay, and then once you did that, if you will see a new keyframe is added. And then again, press the arrow key to the right and make sure that everything will not touch the blue line. Now see that the feathering is still okay. So I will still go with that, but I'll let's just, let's just move it a bit. Okay, next move again, click this. Let's move back 
and let's move this one up and move this right here and click this again and move one keyframe at a time make sure that this is done really 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 well or else a single error like your phone will be like half of your phone will be invisible and half of your body of this body will be invisible so we really need to be really um, careful in moving this mask now I'm going to do this really fast in order for us to save time Now that we just finished adjusting the mask, just hit enter and you will see the final output. Now from here you can see both of those videos are working perfectly. And that's it, it's that simple. If you have any question, please comment down below. And please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. See you in my next video.